Oh, welcome to a little update video on the SMK Victory CP2 177. I know a lot of people have sort of been commenting saying it is down on power, and it is down on power. It was only five foot pound. You expect a little bit more out of these. But I've determined to keep it standard, not mess around with it and tune it like I've done with all my other guns. But before I was a bit bored this morning, the weather's absolutely crap outside. Original plan, what I had got planned for the weekend hasn't happened. So if we, you know what, let's have a look at this, see if we can do anything with it. I'm not tuning it. I just want to make sure it's right. So I've stripped the thing completely down. All the seals are good inside there. The hammer spring is a totally standard weight hammer spring. It's got the plastic um, built-in uh, hammer spring guide in there with a the little clip that clips under the end of here. Unlike the CP1, which has got like a metal one. Um, the transfer port, I know I suggested in the last video that it's got a really, really small hole. And people that don't tune these wonder what the hell a transfer port is. It's basically this little brass bit here goes between the actual action and the barrel. So when the piston flies forward, it hits a little valve, puffs some CO2 up inside the bit, through this, into the barrel, behind the, pit, behind the pellet, and that's what pushes it down the barrel. And basically, the smaller that hole is, the less gas can go through, bigger the hole is, the more gas can get through. And every one of these I've had in the past has had a three mil transfer port in it. This one's a two mil one. You can see it's got a tiny little hole. This is out of a PP800, which is basically the, the PCP pistol version of one of these, where this is the CO2 version. And the transfer port in this, when I got it apart, was 1.5 mil that I could see looking down from where the barrel was. So by the time I got the action completely stripped down and inspected everything else, I turned it over and noticed that what the other side of the transfer port was actually three mil. So one side, 1.5 mil, the other side, three mil. You, think, you could actually see the step down the middle of the port. So I thought, is that a machining error? Have SMK decided to do that on purpose, to throttle it down a little bit, to make it more consistent, get more shots on a CO2 capsule? So it was doing 60 shots in one capsule, which is a lot for a CO2 gun, but merely it was quite low powered. So I thought, hmm, what do I do? So basically what I did do, I've got a three mil drill bit, drilled all the way through it, so it's the same both ends. So there's no step in there. It's as it should be. Every one of these I've had before, I've had a three mil transfer port in it. So I put it all back together, not done anything else to it, left the hammer spring alone, left the spring guide alone with the standard built-in guide bit on there. Even though I've got the tuning bits, I can put different weights in there and springs, and I've got different spring guides, hammer weights, all that sort of stuff. I'm not doing, I don't want to do that. I don't want to tune this. I just want it right as it should be. On a box, it said it should do 600 feet per second. It's actually doing more than that now. So I think it's got to where it should be. It's doing about 38 shots on a capsule now. So it's dropped down a little bit on how many shots, but that's not, 38's a lot for one CO2 capsule. You think my Umarex RP5 won't even do that on two CO2 capsules, and that's running not much more power than this. So I'm quite happy with it. So I thought I'd just show you what it's actually doing. Accuracy-wise, is it, I think it's a little bit better because it's just spinning the pellets that little bit quicker in the rifling, just making them a little bit more accurate. So I've basically gained just over two foot pound in power Lost about 20 shots on a capsule, but 38 is still enough. So I think we've got it how it should be. I've got a feeling that transfer port was actually a machining error. I can't believe they would put, leave a step halfway down the transfer port. Blow that first one off. So we'll just put the old crony on there and just show you what she's doing. Bear in mind it was not very good before. It literally just over five foot pound. It is a little bit better now. I think it's how it should be. Make sure I've actually got the sound on this time, unlike yesterday. Yep, hope you can see that there. We'll go for the red, white and blue ball target. So I've not actually zeroed the scope, I've literally just bolted it straight back on, but it shouldn't be far away. So back up to nearly seven foot pound, which is what I expected this to be. And it's not overly warm in here, 16 degrees at the moment. Obviously CO2s do get a lot more powerful with heat. So we've still got that consistency, which I like. We've not lost any of that. And the 177s are not as efficient as the 22s. They always are a little bit down on power. 
the same with the PCPs. If you know, it's a shot count when people advertise these brand new guns. The two twos always do more shots because they're more efficient. So the people that are not that technically minded, if you'd imagine a tennis ball and a cricket ball, you, you smack the hell out of a tennis ball with a cricket bat, it doesn't go particularly far. You smack the hell out of a cricket ball and it goes a hell of a long way. And it's exactly the same with a pellet. The heavier pellets are just easier to hit further than a, a light pellet, but it's with the same amount of energy pushing it. 597.6.6. So we're bang on the quoted FPS on the box. So we have that, I've kept my initial promise. I didn't want to tune it. I just got it how it should be. That's my excuse anyway. I'm sticking to it. 594.6.6. We do 10 shots because that's nice getting average over 10 shots. Isn't it? We can just see what the actual. Uh, I'll put the pellet in backwards, muppet. it. There we go, that's better. Hopefully, I haven't bent that pellet. 596.5. And bear in mind, these air arms pellets, like 8.4 grains. I'm guessing when uh, SMK put the 600 feet per second on a box, it's probably using one of their own pellets, which is probably quite a bit lighter than these. 587. 6. Point 4. All right, do one more. That's our 10 shots. Then we're going to have a look at the target, look at the crony results. 596.5. So what have we got? The standard deviation of 5.4 feet per second. So I'm very pleased with that. So that is exactly where it should be. So that's that transfer port, just for anyone that doesn't really know what they are. So it's still a standard little gun. It shoots absolutely superbly. I've not tuned it, I've just made it back to how it probably should be. I've got a feeling that's just a machining error on SMK's part. These are mass produced and they are cheap, so you, you can't grumble at it. See, it still shoots a lovely little one hole group. So I think I'm very happy with that. Thanks for watching.